Stay tuned for Air Gun Detective. Welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. I'm JC, your host, and we're going to take the mystery out of the Benjamin Kratos. But before we get started here, do me a favor if you hadn't already, please hit that little subscribe button right down there in the corner. It uh, really helps us a lot. I want you to become part of the Air Gun Detectives family. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you anything. You're not going to be getting any notifications unless you hit that little bell, and then you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. If not, you'll just be connected to the Air Gun Detective family. It really helps the channel, really helps support the channel. So, anyway, I appreciate all you subscribers out there. Uh, in addition to that, don't forget, I hooked you guys up with a discount code of AIRGUN, and it's good for two locations. One, the firearm guards, those are those moisture blocks that will suck the moisture out of your gun safe, your gym bag. Anywhere there's moisture, you don't want it, you drop one of those blocks in there. But anyway, use the uh, promo code AIRGUN. I'll put the link down below. That gets you free shipping on that. And then the uh, PIN-T website, uh, get 15% off anything on the website if there's anything that you're interested in there. And I'll leave the link for that below, too. All right. Let's get back to the uh, Benjamin Kratos. You guys saw uh, a while ago, a short while ago, I did a review on the Aquila. And that Aquila uh, is the bullpup. It's the bullpup version of the Kratos here. We have the basically the exact same um, hardware as far as the same barrel, same side lever cocking. It's, it's pretty much the same setup. Um, however, we do have a different stock on this. Okay, this is a pre-charged pneumatic. They, they sell this in both 25 caliber and 22. This is a 22 caliber that we're going to test today. The main difference between this and the bullpup version is obviously it's a shorter stock and the whole mechanism is moved backwards. But this one actually comes with a 480 cc tank. So it's 200 more cc's than the Aquila. And by the way, if I didn't cover this, Kratos, you know what that stands for? Strength. Stands for strength. So. Um, we're going to see how well it holds up to its name here. These retail for um, right around 630 bucks. And again, I commented on it. it has a 480 cc bottle on this one. This gorgeous stock. I just absolutely love the stocks, both on this and the Aquila. It's that Turkish walnut. And this one has a nice little raised adjustable uh, cheek piece, so you can uh, adjust that to your liking, however you want to set that up. Um, this also has a shrouded barrel. And it's actually, uh, we'll test about how loud it is. The overall gun is 43 inches long and weighs around 8 pounds. And I'll tell you, this thing, it is really balanced. It does not come with a scope, but it does come with a uh, Picatinny rail set up for your scope assembly. So you're going to have to supply your own scope. Um, they're claiming you'll get about 60 shots out of it, but we're going to test this. They also claim it shoots about 1,000 feet per second. It, this is a non-regulated gun, but it does come with this little knob here, right here, and you can adjust the amount of area that goes through the transfer port. So simply, you can decide how much power you want. Obviously, a little less air, the air is going to last longer, you're going to get a lot more shots, and that might be great. You might do a lot of backyard plinking, and you don't need the full 1,000 feet per second, and you want to reduce it down to 600 feet per second. You can do that, and as a result, you should get a lot, lot more shots. Um, it's got an adjustable trigger shoe here, and there is a fully adjustable trigger on these. In fact, you need to check out my video. I did a specific video that covers the Kratos and the Aquila on how to adjust and tune the triggers on them, and they are actually pretty amazing once you get down into it. Also, you have the um, fill probe. It's a standard foster fitting right there, and you've got your gauge right there on the bottom. So it's tucked right in there, so it makes it simple. So whatever your air source is, whether it be a scuba tank, <coughs> electric pump, or a hand pump, you just hook the hose right there, and you're ready to go. Oh, one more thing. This does come with a little uh, Picatinny mount. See right here on the bottom? It doesn't come with, obviously, the bipod. I put that on there. It's got a Picatinny mount on there, and it does come with the studs for uh, uh, swivels for your sling. So you can put it, this on a sling. You want to take it out in the field. Also has, uh, comes with two 12-round um, magazines. Now they make this in a 25 caliber, and the 25 caliber, it comes with two 10 round magazines, the 25. But in the 22, you're looking at 12 rounds uh, a piece. But it's nice because it actually comes with two. 
And it comes with, as you've seen in the Aquila, it comes with a set of wrenches, uh, Allen wrenches, so you can do all your adjustments. So it comes with that. And it comes with a quick release foster fitting, so you won't have to buy one of those extra. If you're setting this up with an air source, it does have the quick release foster fitting included. So let's, uh, let's take this through our normal steps. Let's test this out and uh, see how well it performs. And then we'll come back here and talk about it. All right, so stay tuned for the next segment. All right, let's test our Kratos for some velocity here. Actually, the best pellets that I ran through this one is the uh, JSB, the um, Jumbo, the Heavy Diabolos. Those are the best ones that came through. They just edged out the Hornets, but it's funny, in the Aquila, the H&N uh, Hornets edged these out. So, in this gun, for some reason, as I've mentioned before, each gun likes its own pellet, so it's, and it's no exception here. So we'll shoot five across the chrono. I'm gonna have this at full power. Um, you know, the transfer port's adjustable as far as how much air goes through it. So we're gonna try this at full power, see how much uh, foot-pounds of energy we get out of this. Uh, in addition to that, um, when I'm done with this, I'm gonna do an entire shot cycle. I'll show you that at the end, and we'll pick out our sweet spot on this as well. So let's just shoot five shots, and uh, let's see how this registers. All right, shot number one. 912. Shot number two. 925. Shot number three. 915. Shot number four. 917. And shot number five. 918. Not too shabby. That's got to be in the 33, 34 foot pounds. I'll show you the number across here. But um, not too bad at all. Not to mention how quiet this rifle is too. I mean, it's totally backyard friendly. So let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's test our Kratos for some accuracy here. Usual 20 yards, just like to shoot a five shot group, just to give you an idea how well it groups. We're gonna go ahead and shoot the 18.13 JSBs. Those have the edge on accuracy. The H&N Hornets were close. These ones and the Kratos had the edge though. So we gotta go with these. Yeah, I wanna thank Splatterburst for supplying us with these targets. Um, they really help us uh, see where every impact is, that's for sure. I'll put a link down below if you guys are interested in getting some of these. So, once again, thanks to Splatterburst. All right, let's see how well we do. Um, we're going to shoot this, obviously, at full power. And uh, we're going to take five shots, and we're looking for grouping here. Just looking for grouping. That's a one. That's a two. That's three. Four. And one more. That's five. Yeah, basically all through the same hole. So the accuracy is very similar to our Aquila. Very similar. Um, God, I just love the way this thing hits, though. Now we have a trigger dialed in. Not too shabby. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, I'm going to do a quick trigger test on our Kratos, uh, but don't forget, I put a complete video out on how to adjust, tune these triggers, so I'm just going to run a basic one real quick, but uh, yeah, look up that video if you want all the details on these triggers as well as the Aquila. All right, so let's see how well this one performs. Well, you got to like that. One pound, 12 ounces. One pound, 12 ounces. Yeah, once you dial these triggers in, they're really amazing. So you set them up exactly the way you like them. But check out that other video. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, a little bit of a windy day, but still my favorite uh, portion of the review is the plinking portion. So we're going to see how our Kratos does at 40 yards. Go ahead and uh, take a look at these targets we're shooting at. I got some steel targets out there, but what I did is I hit some shotgun shells behind and in between those. And we're going to see how accurate this is, because we're going to need pinpoint accuracy to be able to hit those. So we're going to see how well we do. Um, in addition to that, I'm going to be using the uh, JSBs, the 18.13, the little heavier pellets. As I said, in this gun, they seem to perform a little bit better. So let's see how well we do. All right. I'm going to start with that little teeny uh, opening between the, the white pig's legs. There's a shotgun shell back there, and we're going to see if we can hit that without hitting the pig. Yeah, just like that. Okay. 
Man, this thing is accurate. And I have this trigger set so nice right now. All right, how about the shotgun shell between the two eggs? Can we hit that one? I would say yes. And how about the shotgun shell on its side between the pig and the eggs? I'd say that was a hit. All right, let's get rid of the easy stuff now. Let's get rid of the red egg. You hear how hard that hits? This thing has, like I'm talk, talking about, 30, about 34 foot-pounds of energy. Actually, we got a twofer on that. That hit so hard. But anyway, that's our Kratos at 40 yards. Seriously, that is what you call pinpoint accuracy. All right, let's move on to the final segment. Let's wrap this up with our conclusion here. Um, what a neat gun. This was, I, I gotta tell you, this was a lot of fun to shoot and a lot of fun to review. Some guns are exceptional that way, some are just okay. This this was exceptional. This was a lot of fun. Um, let's talk about the negatives. The only negative I had was with the uh, Picatinny rail that was on the Aquila that is mounted in one spot. But honestly, I cranked this one down this time really tight. I, I tried to snug it really tight. And I'll show you this right here. And uh, it stayed pretty stable. So I can't really even say that's much of a complaint anymore. The other thing, um, this also, if you're taking it in the field, I'm just one of these guys that likes a barrel band. I like more stability out of here. But it's actually pretty solid. The only issue I did have with it, it was nobody's fault. When I was uh, going through and running it through the chrono, I fired one shot and the barrel shroud slid forward about a foot. And what it was is these there's a couple little Allen screws that are right here on either side of the barrel. You gotta make sure those are tightened up. And if you guys want to know what this shroud looks like, check this out. They did an exceptional job on this thing. This thing is really backyard friendly. It's really quiet. But you have um, these little cones that are set up in there. There's several of these cones set up in here. Just Honestly, that's kind of like a real silencer built the same way. But you have these little cones that are stacked in here, and it does a superb job. It really does. Like I said, it's totally backyard friendly. I think um, we were showing like in the low 90s or something on the DP, Dust Bowl Reader. But that's all there is to it. Those just stack in there, spring loaded, ready to go. But yeah, just make sure. And they give you all the Allen wrenches, they come with this, so just make sure that the Allen wrenches are snug on this barrel shroud, because mine just happened to slide forward. So honestly, um, there's really not much negatives on this thing at all. This gun is fantastic. So let's start with, first of all, the stock is incredible. This is a Turkish walnut stock. It's amazing. This thing fits so nice, either right-handed or left-handed, in your shoulder. I mean, it just comes up so nice. The weight in this thing is really balanced. It really is. They advertise that you're going to get 60 good shots on it. Well, guess what? I actually ran this thing. and I did all the testing on this with the 18.13 grain pellets because they were the most accurate. So I ran those through the chrono. Um, a 14 grain pellet will get you your 1,000 feet per second, but I was going for accuracy and the most foot-pounds of energy. So what I did is I charted this thing. I actually shot this from shot number one, 3,000 PSI, all the way down to shot 100 because I just wanted to kind of see what that range was and uh, 100 takes you down to 1500 PSI we lost 100 feet per second so it started up in the low nines ended in the low eights and that was with 100 shots on full power so if you were to adjust this to let's say 50 percent to where you're getting maybe 600 feet per second you're gonna get well well over a really good hundred shots but anyway if you look at the chart that I put together here you can see that um, we have got the really sweet, sweet spot was right there between um, 2,800 PSI and 2,400 PSI. And we average about 924 feet per second with the 18.13 uh, grain pellets. And it gave us 34 and a half foot pounds of energy. So those were your most consistent, powerful shots. However, we did get 82 usable shots. We really did. And I think that has a lot to do with the 480cc tank rather than the 280cc tank that we saw with the Aquila. So you're going to get a lot more shots out of this one. So we started around that low 900s and we ended up um, 82 shots later in the high 800s. So we didn't lose a whole lot of feet per second. So you have a lot of usable shots with this gun. So the velocity, as we said, was what they advertised without a doubt. Our accuracy on this rifle was simply 
amazing. It shot pretty much just like the uh, Aquila did at uh, our 20 yards. That's our basic little test just to see. We put one pellet on top of the other. It was 18 tenths of an inch. But you guys saw the plinking session, and this wasn't a normal plinking session. What I did was I set up those small shotgun shell targets behind the metal objects. So you had to shoot through the metal objects. I think we had our little through the legs of the little white pig and to hit those shotgun shells and we did not miss one shot. It was this thing was amazing. And that was at 40 yards with a little breeze. So again, this one like those 18.13 grain pellets, but you yourself could probably uh, experiment with some other pellets because it's not overly pellet picky. That's the thing you gotta like. And uh, the trigger on this thing, incredible. Once you get this thing dialed in, and again, I'm gonna remind you, I did a full video on how to adjust and tune these triggers. So uh, take a look at that because that'll really dial this in. But once you get this trigger dialed in, it is simply amazing. It really is. Overall, what a package. I'm telling you, this is one of the funnest rifles to shoot. And maybe because it's just so accurate. I mean, incredibly accurate. So how would I rate this? Well, what do you guys think? How, how, how do you think I would rate this gun? I'm letting you guess here. Five stars. Without a doubt, five stars. Incredible. With the extra air capacity, with this 480cc tank, so you're getting that amount of shots. Even though it's not regulated, they're still very accurate, consistent shots. And then you have the control where you can adjust the transfer port or how much air goes into it. So you can set it up however you want. And when you have this on low power or one of the lower settings, this rifle is beyond quiet. I'm telling you, I could shoot this in my backyard at midnight and I would have no issues whatsoever. Please check out my website when you have a chance at www.airgundetectives.com. And again, please, if you haven't, subscribe. It's totally free. It really helps out the channel. So don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. So until next time, stay safe and happy shooting.